Let's talk about solving joint and combined variation problems. The difference between joint and combined variation are very obvious. When we talk about joint variation, it looks like an extended form of a direct variation. But once that it includes direct square or inverse variation into one, that's automatically combined variation. Let's talk about these problems here. For number one, they are already given that this is joint variation. But for number two, A and B, they are stated differently for A, you have directly and inversely. Now, in letter B, you also have directly and inversely as the square. So for number two, this is an example of a combined variation. So for number one, let's look at the given value. Y varies jointly as X and W. The first thing that we need to do here is to write our mathematical equation. Y is equal to as jointly as x and w, but please do not forget the constant of proportionality k. We need to use the, the value for k later on as we solve letter A and letter B. So let's start by substituting the value here. When x is 5 and w is a 3, the value of y is 90. So do you have here 90 is equal to k, x is 5, sorry, and then W is a three. That's actually 90 is it 90. Let's make it better. That's 90 is equal to K times 15. And then you divide both sides by 15 here as well. So the value for K is actually equal to 90 divided by 15, six. We are going to use the same value of constant of proportionality for letter A and letter B because they are just under the same situation. It's just that the unknowns needed to solve for A and B are different. So for letter A, we are going to solve for Y here if X is 6 and W is 2. So we are going to solve for Y is equal to K X W. And then here, sorry for that, it's very long. So we have y and substitute here the value for k, which is 6. y is also 6. And w is actually 2. So the value for y for letter A is 6 times 6 is 32. I'm uh, sorry, 36 times 2. So the answer here is 72. This is the result after using the value of k we have solved earlier. For letter B, same situation. It doesn't change the type of variation. So we just simply need to use the same value for k. So y is equal to k x w. That would be the case you have here. However, the unknown for the um, item that we are going to solve for letter B is w, not y. So just simply substitute y is 4, k is 6, x is 8, and then w is what we're looking for here. x is 8, y is 4. So continue, 4 is equal to 48, 48 w. And then divide both sides by 48 here and here. So our answer for number a uh, letter b number one letter b w is equal to four forty eights or in lowest term you have one twelfths so there is there are also uh, problems or items we're in it's not all the time that the independent var the dependent variable rather y is what we're looking for just like in letter b same value for k same mathematical equation but what we're looking for is y because i w rather because y here is what is given let's proceed to number two for number two here this is not similar to number one because in number one we do have the same situation and continued problem a and b but for number two 
Yes, same situation. But for letter A and letter B, we have two different variation statements. And thus, they will yield to different uh, mathematical equations. So the value for K may be different for both of them. Let's start with two, letter A. And letter A is where we are going to use this situation. The number of rabbits rab varies directly as the squirrels and the raccoons. Let us use symbolic forms here. Let us use R for rabbits. You're going to use S for squirrels and C for raccoons because R is already used there, okay? So there could be distinction between the three. This rabbit, squirrels, raccoons. So you have rabbit, Rabbit, let's use R. You have squirrels, that's I here. Let's use S for that. And then we have here the raccoons. Let's use C for that. So it's said here that in letter A, the number of rabbits, that's R, varies directly okay, as the number of squirrels. But inversely, as of the raccoons. When you say inversely, we have here a fractional form or a rational form of an expression. But again, don't forget the value, the concept of proportionality k. But when we go to letter B, it becomes the number of rabbits varies directly as of the squirrels, but inversely as the square of the raccoons. If we're going to place here k, look at the two mathematical equations, they really differ, especially for the denominator here. That would mean that k for a and k for b are not the same. Unlike earlier, we are just under the same situation. That is why k are, is just the same for a and b. So for this, let's solve independently both k's here. Let's start with letter a. When there are 10 rabbits, that's your can here, your R, there are 40 squirrels, you have K times 40, and there are only two raccoons. That's the situation. So let's solve for K. You have here, again, the situation here is when there are 10 rabbits, that's your R, there are 40 raccoons and two, uh, sorry, 40 squirrels and two raccoons. And then you have that. So we can actually divide this and then the value here, 10 is equal to K times 20. So the value for K, when we divide both sides by 20 is one half. This is the value for K in letter A. Again, 40 divided by two is 20. Divide both sides then by 20 here. So divide by 20, divide by 20, that's how you will get k as 10 over 20 or 1 half. And then that is what we're going to use here for our k. The situation follows. How many raccoons? We're asking for c when there are 5 rabbits and 20 squirrels. Again, how many raccoons? So there are 5 rabbits. Then your k is 1 half. There are... 20 squirrels times 20, you're asking for how many raccoons are there. So let's simplify first the numerator. 20 divided by 10, I mean 20 divided by 2 is 10. So you will have here the expression 5 is equal to 10 over C. Multiply both sides by C. So we could cancel out C here. You have 5C is equal to 10. And since we're looking for C, not 5C, divide both sides by 5. So how, how many raccoons are there when there are 20 squirrels and 5 rabbits? The answer here, there are only 2 raccoons. Make sure that the answer is an integer because we are counting raccoons. Okay, uh, If the answer is 2 and Two point something or two and one half. That's uh, we just need to review because there should be no one half raccoon there. As for letter B, but same situation: ten rabbits, forty squirrels, two raccoons. So you have here 
10 rabbits, K. Your S is 40 squirrels. The only difference here is at the denominator, we are going to square the number of raccoons, two raccoons. Solve for K, you have 10 is equal to K times 40 over four, that's two squared. That's already 10. So 10 is equal to K times 10. Divide both sides by 10. You will get K, which is equal to one. Again, this happened because the denominator is two squared. Definitely, when you look at the two values for K, you have here one half for A, but one for letter B. They are not anymore the same because they are under different uh, forms of the combined variation. But still, let's continue to solve for the situation here. How many raccoons, still asking for raccoons, are with five rabbits and 20 squirrels? So there are five rabbits, K time tw times 20. Uh, sorry, K is already given here earlier. We have K that is which is one times 20 over C squared. C squared. So multiply both sides by C squared. You will have, we can cancel that out. Sorry, this one. Uh, we have five C squared is equal to 20. Divide both sides by five. Well, let's use color green. Divide both sides by five. You will see here the value of C squared, which is four. But we are asking for C, the number of raccoons, not C squared. What we need to do here is to take the root of both sides. Always remember that if we take the root of a number, we, all, we have two possible answers. C is equal to positive and negative of two. Because when you take the perfect square of positive two, that's four. When you also take the perfect square of negative two, which is also four. But yes, we have two possible answers here. But look, let's look at the problem. We have rabbits, raccoons, and squirrels. They are objects, living things. That would mean the negative value is not possible. We can't have negative two raccoons. What we can only have is positive two raccoons. So this is our final answer. Do not be confused about same result for our C here, because in the first place, they, under, they have undergone different processes. So these are examples of combined variation, number one, is for the joint variation. Please make sure to use this video as you prepare for your long quiz. Goodbye, everyone, and God bless.